favorite fish of all time? That's a hard question. Starting route to absolutely fish. What is going on everybody? It is Jay Wilson and we are at Absolutely Fish as the satellite has brought us down to. We are gonna pop in and check out the three P's, the product, the people, the process. It's everything from what they carry to their fish to how they educate and it is absolutely fantastic. So let's go check it out. Alright everyone, we're here with Isha at Absolutely Fish and we're gonna ask her some questions in regard to the, you know, the people part. Alright Isha, how long have you been working here? Almost a year now. A year? Almost. And there's lots of fish. Oh yeah. Lots, lots, lots of fish. <laughs> what is your favorite fish of all time? That's a hard question of all time. There's a lot to choose from. Um, I think right now I have to say this wolf fish right here. He's, oh, you like the wolf fish. He's in the bridge right now because he eats fish that are smaller than him. But he needs a lot of space. This is like a temporary thing. <laughs> but he, he eats food like a puppy. Like, he gives him food like he'll, he'll destroy it immediately. Whoa. So, you've been working here a year. The wolf fish is probably your favorite right now. Oh, but yeah. you were talking about the pike. Oh, yeah. So, there's a belly crown pike up here. I just really like pikes because they're predatory, but they're not aggressive. So, they have a lot of personality, but you're not losing like you don't keep them alone or anything like that with the pair from a by the flower horns well you know i've been listening to you for about a half hour now <laughs> you seem pretty passionate where did you learn all of your information um i mean it's kind of dispersed a lot of it was through my dad and he kept a lot of fish too and then a lot of it was through like online and my own research and then honestly there was i learned so much through working here sweet and how many tanks do you have at home uh nine nine tanks <laughs> And do you do any saltwater or just fresh? I do have one saltwater tank. Show me your favorite saltwater fish here right now. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a big saltwater person. I actually just have dwarf seahorses. Oh, hey, that's still cool. I really like the wrasse. Okay, I know it's kind of basic. <laughs> but so you like the wrasse? Yeah. And it's basic. I know they're basic, but they're just so pretty. I just, I just really like the way they look, honestly. I don't know that much about saltwater, so I don't have like a big like saltwater fish that's my favorite. But I just... I just think they're pretty awesome. What's one piece of information if they were going to start an aquarium with absolutely fish? Um, honestly, just talk to us, you know? Like, we have so much advice. We have you know so much. We just want to help you. We just want to help you in your tank. So I'd say my number one piece of advice is uh, don't be afraid to start with the fish that, like, you don't, like, isn't your favorite. Because you got to cycle that tank, you know? You know what, like, cycling? Yeah. So, you know, if, if, if you start with like the tetras, I know they're not the most colorful, but they're gonna lead you to those rainbow fish and the angel fish and the big like geos and the discus. Like, Absolutely. There's so much you can do with the tank, but when it's new, you're a little limited, but that doesn't mean you can do it. Awesome. Like, yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, Yusha. Yeah, I guess you got a lot of work now. Yeah, thank you. Glenn's gonna get mad. I don't know where Glenn is, but he'll get mad. <laughs> You didn't have tanks before you worked here? No, no, I have a 75 gallon planet tank and a 40 breeder saltwater reef tank. My man! Six gallon Look at you! Reef. Are you gonna stop or are you gonna keep growing? Well, I'm gonna probably keep going. It's pretty addicting. Well, it's awesome, man. I'm glad you work it absolutely. Thanks, man.
Process is key though. It's key in anything we do. So whether it's bagging fish, quarantining fish, educating you, getting you the right information to take that fish home or whatever that aquatic species is, is vital to those three Ps. With great people comes great process. And with great process, it doesn't get much better than that. I mean, really, it doesn't. A little spin test action. Little spin test, spin test action. Seen that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, really awesome. Oh, yeah, Saves us a lot of time. Hey, Brad, how long have you been working here? Oh, uh, it's going to be a year in like two weeks. So. Are you excited? What are they getting you for your year anniversary? A trophy? Hopefully. A tro nice. You're getting a trophy? <laughs> part to this is the people, right? You walk into the store, you gotta feel at home. Whether it's the family atmosphere, or you feel comfortable enough to ask the questions that maybe you don't know the answers to. So whether you're into salt water or fresh water, they've got conspics, they've got yellow tangs, they've got blue spotted jawfish, they've got games to sign up, they've got Instagram, they've got Facebook, they've got an online store, and they've got products galore. The people, the process, and the product. They have all three, and that's why they're absolutely fish.